Hey guys, help, welcome to the Reindeer um, Stocking Holder Workshop. So your workshop when you get it is going to not quite look like this yet, but it will get there, I promise. Um, you're gonna have a piece of wood. It's gonna have some pre-drilled holes in it. Um, that is so that we can secure your little reindeer noses right on top of there. But basically the way we're gonna do um, this last reindeer is gonna be the same exact way you're gonna do each of your reindeer. Um, so I didn't feel the need that you guys needed to obviously watch every single one being done because you're pretty smart people. So you're going to grab your one of your reindeer vinyls. All the reindeers are exactly the same, so it doesn't matter which one goes where. Um, you just want to make sure that you have your holes bottom side down because um, that's going to be the bottom of your stocking holder. And you'll go ahead and you'll... The first thing you kind of want to do is, is just kind of position them. Um, this one's a little bit easier because I've already done the measuring and the hard part for you because the holes are going to be where you put your reindeer. So you're not going to really have to do too much measuring. So <clears throat> wherever you want to start, um, grab your vinyl. And you can begin to peel it off slowly. Uh, it should come off pretty easily because I've pre-peeled all your vinyl for you, which means I've already peeled it off onto the transfer tape once so that the second time around it would be super simple for you guys. So... Once you have that um, sticky side down, what you're gonna wanna do is just make sure that that pre-drilled hole is right in the middle of that opening of um, your reindeer's face. So he's kinda got that surprised look on his face. Um, once that's right where it needs to be, you can go ahead and just rub on that vinyl. Um, this is permanent stick, so if something crazy happens when you stick it down the first time, I can't promise you it's going to be very pretty if you have to um, peel it back up. The big thing to watch for with this, guys, when you're taking this off is just these eyes, just because they're smaller. So just make sure they get a lot of loving. Then I always peel from a corner and I peel kind of in a, a sideways direction, um, going slow. Watching those intricate spots. Make sure you watch the antlers. Make sure they're all sticking down. Ta-da! There you go. So now you've got that done. And then we're going to do the same thing with the words. Um, I've already got one set of my words on there. Um, I would encourage you, I gave you these in two pieces and not one. Um, that just allows you guys some freedom of design so if you want to do it like I'm going to do it um, feel free if you want to get creative go ahead and do whatever you want with your wording um, the cool thing too is if so say you have this piece right here and you're like well I want to put you know a, a letter up there or, you know however you want to do it as long as you if you cut this and as long as you cut it um, and don't hit, hit any of the vinyl and you cut the transfer and the backing you can separate these pieces out and then put them wherever you want. So you are not um, stuck with just having it like this if you want it different. So keep that in mind if you would like to get a little creative. Same thing with your letters. You're gonna peel off your backing, sticky side down. Um, now I did this with the measuring so that the G should go between um, that last little reindeer's um, antler. So just make sure you, before you peel that, you just make sure that that's the case. Um, always keeping in mind if you already got one set of letters done, um, just eyeballing it, make sure it's even. If you are a perfectionist and wanna use a ruler here, um, something like that to make sure this side matches up with this side, you do you. So I think that looks pretty good. Then, just do the same thing over again. So just watching those intricate spots, um, making sure they're really stuck on there. go so once you have all your vinyl on there I always like to just go over it 
make sure it's good and ready. So now we're ready to add your noses. So there's no real right way to do the noses. If you do not want Rudolph in the middle, I am not offended. You can put him somewhere else. Um, but everything's pre-drilled for you. Um, so what you want to do is you'll flip it over. Um, if you have a screwdriver, this is going to probably be the time to grab it. Um, you can hand screw it in, but trust me, the screwdriver is going to make your life a lot happier, guys. If you are not a handy person that has tools in your house, um, the dollar store can be your hookup with one of these. Um, definitely a good item to have around the house, I promise. So you'll go ahead and you'll do this for each of these because um, this is what's going to hold the knobs on the front. And you want to make sure it's good and tight. Flip it back over, you'll see it kind of sticking out. Then you'll take this and you'll go ahead and just screw it right on for your reindeer nose. And then you'll just go ahead and you'll do that for all of your reindeer. Like I said, you can put your noses wherever you want. If you don't want Rudolph in the middle, I am not offended. Um, and there you go. And then this one, I don't have the... Um, the back hangers on there quite yet just because it's easier for me to show you guys when <laughs> I don't have the hangers on the back but um, those will be on the back placed for you so you don't have to worry about that just because it's tiny little screws so I will do that for you and then just make sure that once you get this completed guys and you got it hung up for the holidays and you've got your stockings on it please take a picture so we can all see your crafty work I love seeing everyone's projects in their homes um, how they switch it up sometimes. Um, that's what I really, really live for, guys. So make sure you're sharing with me. All right. See you next time.